Okay, so we talked about the difference of two squares. And there's a formula and it says if you have a squared minus b squared, that equals a plus b, a minus b. So that was in a video a couple back, I think. Um, but now we're going to talk about the sum or difference of cubes, okay? So it's not the same thing, and it's different. So here comes, the, but it's a formula, it's, you know, it's a formula. Okay, so first we're going to give you the sum of two cubes. So this is when you have like a cubed plus b cubed. And it factors like this, a plus b, and then, whoops, that's a binomial, and then a trinomial, a squared minus ab plus b squared. And that's the formula. So that's what we use for the sum of two cubes. Okay? So we also have a formula for the difference of two cubes. a cubed minus b cubed. And it's very similar, but it goes a minus b. And then you have a squared plus ab plus b squared. So those are the two formulas. You can put that on your page of notes for an exam. Um, and it, one of them is called the sum of two cubes, and the other is the difference of two cubes. And there's no sum of squares, though. It's always difference of two squares. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to use the formulas. Okay. So let's say you have x cubed plus 8. What you have to do is you have to identify a and b. So you have x cubed plus, now you have to think, what is 8 as a cube? Well, it's 2 cubed. And so this is your a right here, and this is your b. Okay, now I'm going to pull out the formula. It's sum, so we'll use the sum formula. And all of a sudden, I just, well, yeah. It's a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. And that's the formula, right? So if you scroll back up, you'll see that. It should be on your note page. All right, and then what is my a? My a is x. So for all the a's, I'm going to put in an x. So it's going to be x plus, and then for the b, I'm going to put in a 2. Okay, now when I go on the other side, um, sometimes I like to bring in a bracket here. It's not going to matter too much for this one, but in other problems it does. So I'm going to put in x squared, because again, I'm replacing that a with x. Then it's going to be minus x, that's the a, times 2, because that's the b, plus 2 squared. So I bring in the square brackets because of the parentheses. I need those to make sure I square things right, and I do the multiplication right. So that's where all the pieces go. You're putting in for every a, you're putting in an x, for every b, you're putting in a 2. Okay? So you just put the pieces in. And then really, there's just one more step. We just have to kind of clean it up a little bit. So you're going to have x plus 2, that binomial. And then we want to square this. So it's going to be x squared. I'm taking off the brackets because when I'm done, I won't need, I won't have any other parentheses going on inside. Minus, and then I'm going to write that how we would normally write it, 2x plus, and then I'm going to square that out, 4. And I'm done. You could multiply that out. You could check it with multiplication. See, x times x squared, that's x cubed. Then x times minus 2x, minus 2x squared. x times 4 is 4x. And then if you take the other one, 2 times x squared, and 2 times minus 2x, and 2 times 4, look at what happened. These canceled out. And we just had x cubed plus 8, which was what the original was. So it does work. Um, the factored form, though, is right here in the box. You have a binomial times a trinomial. Okay. Now we're going to do um, the difference of two cubes. So it's the same process, but this one's a little more complicated with the 64 and the 125. But we'll show you how that works. So you're thinking, what is this cubed? I've got to have it something cubed. Well, it's 4x cubed, okay? Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And so if I took the 4x and I cubed it, I'd get 64x cubed. Minus 5 cubed. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. 
So just like we did before, here's the a, that's going to be 4x, and here's the b, it's going to be 5. Okay, so we're going to pull out that formula for the difference of um, cubes, how you factor it. And you don't have to memorize the formula, but if you write it down every time, probably you'll learn what it is pretty quick. Okay, now for every a, I put in 4x. For every b, I put in 5. All right, so a is 4x, and minus b is, that's the you know, minus 5. Okay, here come the brackets, just to help me keep things straight. I have to take a, which is 4x, and square it, plus... 4x times b, which is 5. So see, I'm putting in the a's where they go. <laughs> and then here come the b's. Plus, and then it's going to be 5 squared. Okay, so all the a's are getting replaced with 4x, and all the b's are getting re going to be replaced with 5. Now, if you're thinking, well, why aren't you using minus 5? Remember, I used the um, formula for the difference of cubes, and so the signs are already taken care of, okay? So if you were wondering about that. All right, I just need to do a little cleanup here now. 4x minus 5. And by cleaning it up, what we're going to do is we're going to square that, so 16x squared, plus we're going to multiply that, 20x, plus, and then we're going to square that out, 25. And we're done. You can check it by multiplication.